the next topic is control charts for continuous data you would recall that we discussed that control charts are extension to run charts which include statistically generated upper and lower control limits for continuous data control charts are almost always prepared and analyzed in pairs one chart for measuring variability between the group based on the average or the location chart and another for measuring variability within the group read through the variation or the dispersion chart the decision on what control chart to use when you have continuous data shall depend on the number of subgroups in the data should you have a single subgroup you could use the individual and moving range chart or the imr chart should you have subgroup size greater than 1 and less than 9 you could use the x bar r chart or mean range chart the third if you have subgroup greater than 2 you could use the x bar s or mean standard deviation chart the imr chart there are two charts that are created when you draw the imr control chart one referred to as the individual value and the other referred to as moving range individual value chart uses the mean of the process performance while a moving range chart creates for itself a newer data set referred to as moving range which is calculated based on the data point that is made available when you build the imr chart you would get two charts start with the bottom chart when you draw the imr chart first check for any data point going beyond the red line of the ucl lcl like in this case we have two data points one in the moving range chart and the other in the individual value chart which are exceeding the control limits any data point outside the control limit is termed as being driven by special cause or assignable cause variation the first thing you should look at is the second chart that is the moving range chart in this case for special cause variation if there is one or more do not look at the mean chart or the individual value chart once you see any special cause variation in the data track it back to the data and conduct a root cause analysis of the same it is advisable to have sme intervention to understand the root causes you may also want to review the eight special tests and see if something more needs to be tested you may also want to explore other advanced options in imr when you are drawing the imr control chart individual value uses the as is data to plot the control chart central line used shall be the mean of the data and the ucl lcl will be calculated from the data itself by the tool you are using either excel or minitab or anything else while the moving range shall be calculated based on the data available range value of consecutive data points shall be calculated and so on so let's say on the 1st of january my average handling time was 3 minutes 5 seconds next day my handling time was 3 minutes 10 seconds so the range value of 5 second is what moving range chart will use central line that shall be used will be the mean of the moving range values referred to as the mr bar and the ucl lcl like in the individual value plot shall be calculated from the data itself the imr chart is to be used when you are looking at single subgroup data the next chart is the mean and range chart or the x bar r chart this chart is used when you have subgroup size greater than 1 however there are mutually different approaches to highest subgroup it should be used for range as a value uses only two data elements maximum and minimum hence some practitioners advise not using this chart for higher subgroups so if you had nine subgroups in your data when you use the x bar r chart for range calculation it shall use only two so seven other subgroups shall be overlooked 
That's what certain practitioners contend when they advise not using this X bar R chart for greater subgroup sizes because range uses only two data sets. While for others, X bar R chart is a good way to understand the overall variability. So businesses are using X bar R chart for up to eight, nine subgroups also. When you draw the X bar R chart, two charts are created, mean and range chart. The mean chart shall be based on the mean of the process performance, while the range chart will be built on a new data of range that is created based on range calculation of the same time chronology of the different subgroups, and then it shall be used to plot the control chart. Let me explain this to you through using an Excel sheet. If I'm trying to draw a control chart where I have subgroups, so let's say I have captured the handling time of each of these people on a time chronology. When I'm trying to draw the X bar R chart, based on the data, it shall first create for itself two new data sets, one which is the mean and the other which is the range. So if you see here, for Gagan, Kishore, Lalit, Praveen, Rouhani, uh, Sudesh, Varun, etc. We have data for handling time on the 1st of January 2014. So the first thing it will do for itself is create a newer call where it will calculate the average, average of all the data for the 1st of January. Then it will calculate average for all data on the 2nd of January and going forward. Similarly, for the range, it will do the same thing for the same time chronology. So let's say for the 1st of January, it will first calculate for itself a range value, use this newer data, the mean that it has calculated and the range that it has calculated to create the control charts. The first thing you should look for is the second chart, that is the range chart for any special cause variation. If there is none, only then should you look at the mean chart for all continuous charts. The first chart that you should look at is the variation chart. If there are no special cause variations present there, only then should you go towards the first chart. If you see any special cause variation in the data, track it back to the data and conduct a root cause analysis for the same. Like in the previous chart, SME intervention shall be critical. Review the eight special test and see if something more needs to be tested. You may also want to explore other advanced options in X bar R to make this chart more meaningful for business. When you are using the X bar R chart, for the X bar, mean shall be calculated for the different subgroups of the same timestamp. Central line that shall be used will be the mean of mean, referred to as X bar bar and the UCL LCL shall as always be calculated by the data itself. Range chart, range value shall be calculated based on the data available, range value of the same time chronology for all subgroups shall be calculated. Central line that should be used in the range chart shall be the mean of the range values. UCL and LCL shall always be calculated from the data itself based on whatever tool you're using. The next chart that we are studying is for the continuous data, which is the X bar S chart or the mean standard deviation chart. This chart is to be used when your subgroup size is greater than two. As standard deviation is a more sensitive measure of variability, practitioners advise usage of standard deviation chart over the range chart. Two charts are created, mean and the standard deviation chart. Mean chart is based on the mean of the process performance calculated from the new data created for mean of the available data from time chronology. Standard deviation chart, based on the available data for a time chronology, standard deviation is calculated and then used for making this control chart. So when you set out to create the X bar chart, for the different subgroups that you've used, it will calculate the mean for the same time chronology. So let's say I'm using the same example here, handling time. I have different subgroups here to 
create the x bar chart it will look at calculating the mean for the different subgroups of the same time chronology and then create another data set here calculating the standard deviation of data of the same time chronology so two new data sets will be created one which is the mean the other that is the standard deviation the x bar chart mean shall be calculated for different subgroups of the same time stamp central line that shall be used will be mean of mean referred to as the x bar bar the ucl lcl shall be calculated from the data itself while for the standard deviation chart standard deviation shall be calculated based on the data available like i showed you in the previous uh, section standard deviation value of the same time chronology with the subgroup will be calculated the central line shall be the mean of the standard deviation value ucl and the lcl shall be calculated from the data itself so you now should understand that for continuous data you have three types of charts which are possible for one subgroup imr greater than 1 up to 9 you can look at x bar r greater than 2 itself you could do x bar s practitioners who promulgate usage of x bar s over x bar r have a submission that range essentially looks at only two values so if you use it for larger subgroups some subgroups will not be studied at all x bar s uses standard deviation which is a more sensitive measure of variability so you may want to use x bar s instead of x bar r i hope uh, this simple video helps thank you